In a valley in northern Peru, the dead do not always rest easily. Since the Spanish arrived nearly 500 years ago, grave robbers have continued to disturb their rest. Some people in Peru buy items taken from graves and sell them to collectors. In 1987, police found these copper faces during one search of a grave robber's home. This discovery led to another discovery, the largest number of pre-Columbian artifacts ever found by archaeologists. The people who made the artifacts lived here 1,200 years before the Incas. The people were known as the Moche. For nearly 700 years, the Moche were successful farmers and traders. Then, near the end of the 8th century, they disappeared. But they left behind traces of their life and accomplishments, like these pyramids. It was here that the archaeologists came, searching for a tomb that had recently been opened. Walter Alva is the director of the Bruning Archaeological Museum. He made an important discovery. At the base of an 1,800-year-old pyramid under blocks of stone, he found a tomb containing the remains of a man in his early 30s. This was no ordinary man. He was wrapped in gold, silver, and copper. Alva immediately contacted his friend, archaeologist Chris Donnan. In trying to reconstruct a culture, it's just like trying to put together a, a jigsaw puzzle. And uh, what you need are a lot of pieces. If there are, are just a few pieces, the picture never really makes much sense. But Alva and Donnan had the most important piece of the puzzle. With this one discovery, they were able to more fully understand the Moche culture. According to Donnan, the man in the tomb had an important role. He was a warrior priest. Found around him was jewelry like gold earrings as well as objects used in important ceremonies. Here is a warrior priest, perhaps the actual man in the tomb. All of these are consistent with pictures of the warrior priest, often seen in Moche art. For the first time, archaeologists were able to match up the person in the tomb with the person in the art. For Alva, the person in the art was now a real person, a clear link with the past. Alva is continuing his search. He has found additional tombs in the area. The artifacts he finds will be safe from grave robbers. They will be protected and shown in a museum where everyone can see them. <laughs>